Asari Dokubo claim being part of Mazi Namdekalu kidnap in Kenya. <laughs> Things are happening. They say that Teddy Alahaju will be Asari Dokubo, 70 years old man. Oh. <laughs> they say the man don't come outside. Oh. Can't all say Naing be part of the people. You say fat. They say Naing we will go carry Mazi Namdekalu. Come back for this video where I go play you. Let us video where this man release. Hmm. Things are happening. However, my people, welcome back to Balabas GC. If today not the first time where they come across this wonderful channel, you are highly welcome. We still there here. They bring you updates back to back as it they hot. Let's quickly drop into the Matao and move go know what in this as it they happen for that area. Hmm. They say that uh, the Asari Dokubo don't come outside though. Come claim, say Naingo. Uh, kidnap Mazina and the Carlo from Kenya. I'm going to play the video for you to watch. Please watch this video from beginning to end because you see a lot of things for inside this video. I want you to watch it from beginning to end before we come back and continue. We are there for over 30 minutes. I don't struggle to shine or assign anybody. Letting him the Carlo continue to assign me. That is his business. I promise him I will put him there. I have put him. I have done. When I make a promise, I fulfill it. I have done it. And that's all. Let it continue to I, I shine where? Among the job people or among Igbo people. Where is how Inam Dekano has shining me? So just tell him. Just let him continue. Let him continue. He's in, somebody who had betrayed you people and had calculated that if they release him two, uh, two hours, this, he will do this, he will do that. Somebody who has betrayed you people. I was in the same prison. I didn't betray. I stood firm until I came out. I didn't beg. He's begging, kneeling down, kissing the feet of people. He's no longer God. He's no longer greater than Jesus Christ. He's now a puppy, puppy, ordinary puppy. He's now an ordinary puppy. It's not an ordinary puppy. So you come to somebody, page, and you start to talk rubbish. So me, I finished though. I want to go and eat. I don't finish talking. Alhamdulillah, with all of you are aware, and I will continue to say it. The president Ahmed Bella Tinibu was good to me, and as a friend, I paid him back for what he has done for me. I did not solicit for those assistance when I was in the most traumatic period of my life. He stood by me. He gave me the opportunities to be alive today. Maybe I would have died in the dungeon that I was put into between 2005 and 2007. But I learned to love that I'm alive today because Allah had recorded against my name that I'll be alive. For some time, the military in River State and around my area had tried as much as possible to provoke me to uh, and my the people around me to do something for which they will take an excuse. When Wiki was governor, they tried as much as they can to make sure the police, the military, to make sure they provoke me. While in other places, we walk hand in hand to make sure that there is peace and safety in this country. And we have, we, have, we have achieved a lot of milestones. I've been away from my own because I'm not very well. So I have to be attended to my, by my doctors in Abuja. So maybe I said that is very serious uh, issue at home. Most times, I am with my doctors in Abuja. 
who have even advised me to do, go through a procedure which I have delayed since November last year. Today I was told, I don't know the reason why, I was told by my people in my house at Ipokuma that two gunboats came and stationed themselves opposite my jetty, my house. Because my house at Upokuma, Degema, local government, goes straight to the river. It's at the river bank, it's at the shore. And they came and parked opposite my jetty for about 30 minutes. Our boats were also parked there. After some time, they left. I don't know the reason why those boats came to park. I have had so many, I have had so many insinuations in the fallout of what happened at Okoma. The name of the governor of Bayasa State had been called. They said the governor had been uh, it's under investigation. The house of the speaker of Bayasa had been invaded. The youth leader of Faraway Nembe had been called. And today, for whatever reason that I don't know, two gunboats had mysteriously parked off my jetty and stayed there for about 30 minutes. I've not been at home. My family, my people are at home. I want to say that it is not right for some people in the military to stir up crisis and when this crisis will explode, when this crisis will explode, they will call names. A political analyst will come. International analysts will come and they will be speaking big, big English and making very faulty and stupid analysis. This was how they triggered Boko Haram. This was how they triggered Boko Haram. And today, thousands and thousands of people have died. It triggered Boko Haram, and everybody knows it. If Malan Yusuf was not killed unjustly, maybe there wouldn't have been Boko Haram. Maybe these people would have ended up at their Salafi level and continue to preach their Wahhabi uh, uh, ideology like it's allowed to be that way, come out to Zuma, and other Wahhabi influence group in Nigeria. This is how Malam's executive people were murdered and killed. And there are so many instances of people who gain. They are conflict merchants who gain from conflict they instigate conflict they can be uniform and they can be outside uniform you can hate a person that's why the president must be firm in bringing people that's why proper investigation must be done In my last uh, Calabar lecture, where people were coming in, 
to ask questions. I told them, you cannot collectively punish people for the crimes of a few people. You cannot collectively punish people. You cannot go to Okwama and destroy it because some few people in Okwama uh, uh, killed military men. It's like what is happening in Gaza, where the apartheid Zionist state is killing people. It's killing thousands of people. Collectively punishing people for the crime of a few. It is wrong. And no civilized and democratic society should keep quiet and accept such. Whether we die today or we die tomorrow, we are surely going to die. So when it's time for us to speak out, we should speak out. We should speak out and say no. This is wrong. But if we all keep quiet and accept and acquiesce, it will happen to every one of us. So we, for me, as a person, please and please, I'm just a woman being. People should stop this thing. Whoever is there taking gun boat to place, nobody has sent them to carry gun boat. Everybody know the job people. Your people don't forgive people. They don't forgive people. When you harm them, whether you like it or not, they will extract their death from you. They will extract their death from you. And at that time, something that is preventable, something that ought not to exist, the peace that we are enjoying will be broken. Let us not take it that, because it happened in uh, uh, a, a location, it is also going to happen in B location. Why will a country enjoy killing our citizens? Why will a country enjoy killing our citizens? I just broke my fast. I've not even eaten. Before I went for prayer, I was told that these two gunboats came and parked opposite my house, opposite my jetty, for about 30 minutes and about seven of my boats were also parked at my jetty they stayed for about 30 minutes and they drove towards uh, Abonima please I am not involved in any of your trouble you know what I am doing you know where I am and you know what I am doing.
You are mad people like you, Kingsley. You Igbos are sick people. I've always maintained that I don't want an appointment. I'm not like you people who live for money and your stomach. People know me. I'm 60 years old. People know me. If you don't know me, ask me. Even ask me, ask people. I don't give a damn about anybody. When people talk, we know those who can talk and can stand by what they say. I supported Tinibu. I have no regret whatsoever. Because he supported me, I supported him. I have no regret whatsoever. I was invited to Asso Rock, Kingsley. I didn't beg to go to Asso Rock. I've always been going to Asso Rock. Going to Asso Rock is not a big deal. Asso Rock is not the only place. I have met several presidents outside Nigeria. Several kings outside Nigeria. So going to Asso Rock is one of the least things. So, I am bringing this to the old world, to the notice of the old world, that today, two gunboats, wherever they were sent from, came and parked opposite my jetty, and were there for engineer King. Yes, so my people, welcome back as you don't watch that video. <laughs> say, when I don't hear him, as you take token for that video, say, na do am, and as you don't claim him, say, na in go, na fat, na in arrest him as in the car. <laughs> Things are happening. But however, uh, na 70 years old man, I wanted to share this video and uh, make sure say you leave your own opinion for inside comment section as you the hot.